Well, thank you guys for tuning into Chicago Prayer and Hope. We pray for you all because we believe in the power of prayer because we're praying to the true and living God of the universe who hear the prayers and we answer them all in his own perfect timing because his timing is perfect and his timing will always be perfect. Amen. And also, we share the good news of Jesus Christ right out of this true and active living word of God which brings salvation to you all, the free gift of salvation to you all if you believe by faith alone and repent of your sins and also if you do all that, it obviously is the best gift of all that you can ever receive in this lifetime. And that's eternal life of Jesus Christ forever. Amen? Amen. Well, God is good, friends. Give him a shout of praise. One, two, three. Jesus, you are good. He's good, friends. Remember that as you go through every day. Brothers and sisters, we're going to be talking about something very important. Um, we're going to be talking about standing firm and being courageous and being on guard. Brothers and sisters, we're going to be in 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13. So if you have your Bibles, would you flip theirs? And as you flip in that, I'm going to open this up in a brief word of prayer to our Heavenly Father, who is worthy of our prayers and praise. You ready? Let's bow our heads and set, and let's set our hearts on God. Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for your love that never fails. Would you speak to us now by your word? Transform our hearts. Transform our lives. Grow us where we need to be grown. We love you, Lord. Will you help us love you more? Amen. You guys ready? First Corinthians 16, verse 13. It says this. Be on God. Stand firm in, in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. What does this mean, brothers and sisters? Can we read this one more time? And then we read this a second time. Let's meditate and ask God that he would speak to us about what this means. You ready? It says, be on God. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. What does this mean? How does this start out? It says, be on God. We are called to be on God. Why? Because this world is crazy. There's an enemy. If we go to another verse, I forget which verse it is, but the enemy is real. Satan is real. Demons are real. We gotta be on guard. We gotta watch out for the lies. That we don't fall in and believe the lies. We gotta watch out for them. So be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. We gotta stand firm in what we believe in our faith. So when times get rough, that we cling to our faith, that we remember it. Be on guard, stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. We gotta be courageous. We gotta be bold. We gotta be have faith. We gotta be strong. Be courageous. Have faith. Be, not be scared. Be strong. We need to be strong in everything that we do. Be strong in the Lord. Then I guess verse... I know I said verse 16. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. And I guess we can go on to 14. Do everything in love. We need to do everything in love. This also goes with, along with it as well. Even though it's a separate verse, this also can go along. This also can go along with it as well. So, what is my encouragement? What is the challenge for you all today? My encouragement, my challenge for you all today, is that we'll be on guard. That we'll watch out for an enemy, for lies, and for the enemy whispering stuff to us that we shouldn't believe. That we'll be on guard. That we'll stand firm in the faith. And that we'll be courageous. And that we'll be strong. And most importantly, that we do everything in love. In Christ's name. In love. That's my encouragement and my challenge for you all today. Well, if you never came to God before, or you would like to come back to God right now, known as a prodigal son, here is your opportunity to do so by saying the simple prayer in the silence of your own heart. So repeat these words after me. Father God, I confess I'm a sinner. I confess my need for you. Would you please come into my life, Lord? I cannot do this life without you, Lord. You're the only hope I have, and you're the only hope I want, Lord. I repent of all my sins, and I turn to you, Lord. Please come into my life, Lord. Amen. If you just prayed this prayer today for the first time with us, and we pray this prayer, known as the prodigal son, then I'm going to welcome you into the family of God, or welcome you back into the family of God. Because scripture says, when one walks into the family of God, or one walks back in, Heaven rejoices, and I rejoice along with you as well. And I've been praying for this moment to be his brothers and sisters. This is truly the most important decision that one can ever make of his life. By placing the faith in Jesus Christ and accepting the free gift of salvation that Jesus offers to you.
and to anyone, anyone who believes. Amen? So I want to welcome you in the family of God. So if you just made this decision today for the first time, or we committed your life to Christ today, I encourage you to reach out to me or to someone because we want to give you resources and next steps to take on this very important decision they made today. We don't want to mock you at all. We don't want to pressure you. We just simply want to walk alongside you and let you know what you, what's next on this very important decision they made today. And also, we just want to be praying for you, brothers and sisters. We truly do, because we believe in the power of prayer here. So we want to be praying as you continue along this journey that God would grow you into the man or woman that he has created you to be, that you would serve him. Because we're on this earth to serve him and bring glory and honor to his name. Amen? Amen. Brothers and sisters, can I bless you all today with the living word of God? We you your hands up to receive it? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And may you never forget that we are called to be, be on God, stand firm in the faith, be strong, and be courageous, and do everything in love, most importantly. Brothers and sisters, if you were encouraged by this video, and you feel like someone else needs to be encouraged by it, would you please do me a favor, click on that share button, and share this video with them. Share the good news, share the hope of Jesus Christ with them. The living word of God, I should say. If you guys just need prayer, or you would like to talk, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always here for you, as always. Until next time, keep Christ number one as always, and have a blessed, blessed day. Don't ever hesitate to reach out. I'm always here for you. God bless you all. Have a great day.